Good evening. We begin tonight with what just might be long way to justice for two women murdered in the early 90s. A decades long investigation by police in Boise and Bremerton, Washington, led to the arrest of 54 year old Lee Miller last night in the capital city. He is charged with murdering a woman in Washington in 1992, and he is the suspect in the murder of a Boise woman two years later. Miller hasn't been charged in that case, but DNA from both crime scenes matches his. Our Morgan Boydston has the details. Police say Miller is also a suspect in the 1994 brutal stabbing of a 49 year old Boise woman who lived at this address, 1306 North 6th Street in Boise's North End. That investigation is still ongoing. Archives of newspaper articles dating back 25 years, conveying the story of Cheryl Baratt's death found dead in the upstairs bedroom of her North End home one late April night in 1994. Days later, a man was arrested at the Boulevard Motel on Capitol and charged with murder, but he was released. Boise Police Detective Monty Iverson says there were no other leads. Over the course of investigation over time, that case also grew, grew cold. Meanwhile, detectives in Bremerton, Washington, were working to solve their own cold case murder. So in 1992, the investigation began with the discovery of Marilyn Hickey at her home. The case remained in basically a cold state until about 2006 when uh, DNA was processed by the Washington State Crime Lab that led to a full DNA profile. While crime scene DNA didn't match a specific person, investigators discovered the killer's DNA turned up at the scene of Brad's death. Detectives with Boise and Bremerton teamed up. Fast forward to last year. Uh, a comparison of the names between the two cases were was done, and uh, it was found that one person was in common for both cases. That person was Lee Robert Miller of Boise, Idaho. Authorities say BPD got a sample of Lee Miller's DNA in 2017 without him knowing. That DNA profile was compared to the DNA profile from both of our cases and found to be a match. When the technology caught up to uh, the evidence, it was still viable for being processed, and we were able to uh, obtain an arrest warrant based on the early work that was done in this case. Miller was arrested in Boise Wednesday during a traffic stop, charged with murdering Marilyn Hickey in Bremerton. Without a DNA hit and without a DNA profile, um, he probably would not be in custody today. Justice served. A cold case, no longer cold. Today was a good day in as much as I got to go share with the family the fact that we had uh, closed the investigation into the death of the matriarch of their family. Miller will be extradited to Washington to face charges in the Hickey murder. And here in Boise, police are still investigating Bratt's death again, as I mentioned, tying up loose ends and doing interviews. They're working with the prosecutor's office and expect to present a case to a judge at some point. Mark. Just amazing work between mm -hmm. the police work and the technology mm -hmm. coming together to find what they believe is a killer. Mm -hmm. All right, Morgan, thank you.